Hi everybody, Nick here at Reef Life Aquatics. So this is the moray that I uh, found the other day. He uh, came in as an unidentified moray, but when I was uh, moving tanks, I noticed that he was fluorescent under the uh, blue reef lights. So the lighting here is a black light. What a black light does is it shows just the fluorescent colors. So there's no, no, no that blue glare from the blue lights or you don't have to filter it out with orange light. So this is the true fluorescent colors that shows. Um, then there's a little bit of the purple light that the black light shows up as. And then here you can see a top down. There's actually a couple clownfish in here, but because they're not fluorescent, you can barely notice them. You can see the white, uh, but none of their other colors really. This is him under white lighting. This is just regular tank lighting. Um, he doesn't really have as green a tint as he does in this video in person. He's more of just a brown. Um, and then this here is uh, the full blue lighting, but then uh, with an orange lens in front of the camera. So this is how you get real good coral pictures. Is uh, you, use an, you do full blues so they're showing their best color, and then you use an orange lens to filter out any of the blue, um, which makes him look like a neon green gold kind of color. Um, and it kind of kind of keeps color on the clownfish. But uh, it makes the colors in any fluorescence look the truest. Um, but here's how, this is how he pretty accurately looks in person, that gold color. Um, you can see without the orange lens, it's just overwhelmingly blue. Uh, but with that orange lens, you can see the true color of the corals, the eel, everything like that. But yeah, he's a super cool fish. Um, there you can see the blue versus the, with the orange lens. Um, and he's, in person, he is this gold color. Not as bright as this video looks, but not too far off. Um, he's definitely noticeable from across the tank while it's just the blues. So this natural fluorescence is actually what gives corals, anemones, everything like that in our reefs their color. Um, it's actually is a thing in the wild on lots of saltwater fish. There's a bunch of wrasse that do it. Sea turtles even have it. We're not really sure why it would be in fish, but um, it's believed for communication reasons. Um, identifying each other, things like that. Um, it's actually artificially done in freshwater uh, tetras like glowfish, uh, but this is a natural case of it that happens in the wild.